Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another last Epog Dead Stream. Hello. Oh my goodness, I've realized I'm wearing the wrong clothing. What have I done? I'm not wearing my Epog shirt. Okay, I'll be right back. Haha, I'm back! Super smooth! Ah, oh, nailed it! There we go. Ref in the shirt. Nailed it. Alright, let's hop right in and have some fun! <laughs> so, I wanted to start off with something. A little experiment. I was doing some bug fixing a couple days ago. And, uh... I found, I found a slight problem. <laughs> That I want to test and make sure it's it's on live the way I thought it was, and uh, it concerns my um, what should be much better, I think, <laughs> two-handed um, two-handed road. We're just we're just gonna check and and see uh, see how it's see if it's actually doing what I think it's doing on live right now. I know what it's doing on our internal version. Yeah, I get it, you're specious, but you know what? I win. Because <laughs> I believe that one of the nodes I'm taking is doing nothing because I'm two-handing it instead of one handing it. If this is your first time, I guess I should go through the, the usual here. If this is your first time here, well, glad to have you with us. We stream for charity. This is our charity this month. We'll have a new one next month. It's pretty great. Um, what else do we do? Oh yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any questions about Last Epoch. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, please put at Last Epoch Game in the question in chat so I see it. Uh, we're just gonna have some fun and kind of muck about. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this thing here on live, see how it's doing, and then uh, once that's done, we're gonna we'll probably hop onto the the um the forge so the shield throw forge guard that I'm leveling. That will we'll, we'll do most of the stream on that. I just realized that I had to get to the champions gate in order to um have access to the test dummies. <laughs> That I want to test this on. Got our first question here. Awesome. Is there any new quest weapon classes coming in 1.0? No, there will not be any new weapon classes in 1.0. Um, there's some new like base types. Like the, so there's, there's some new um, like item types in bases that already exist. So like there might be uh, like a new type of ring or something like that. But there's not like um, like, like, uh, one-handed spears or something, or fist weapons, or crossbows. You know, like, there's no, um, there's, there's, there's no, like, new entire base class, like, um, that would, that would, that would go in this line here, this is two-handed sword, there's no new thing for that line there. There's, um, certain item types, I don't know which bases, I think there's new belts, possibly? Mm. Something. I could be wrong. Okay, we are Let's just do a little little bit of data collection. So we're hitting we're hitting regular hits in the 120 to 170 range, and our, our crits are in the like 950 to oh, there's some 800s there. We'll say we'll say 950 to 1100, 1150, 950 to 1200, somewhere in that range. Nothing, nothing huge, nothing amazing. Um. 
Right. Now, Mike, remember where the, the note is that you're talking about. <laughs> Turns out I just, like, haven't even taken the note. I just got it wrong. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look at this. And there's like just gonna be, it's gonna be a new node that uh, isn't even even on live or something. Oh no, here it is. It was Lethal Mirage. That's the problem. Wrong ability. Okay. Okay, we're all in the was that two to three fifty range. Okay, and we're going to we've got enough this way so we can just we can just take these points out. I think that this will have zero effect on our damage output. What we just did there. <laughs> if you miss the target, even less effect. Yep, that did not do anything. This node does not count two-handed swords. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's fixed for, it's fixed for 1.0. <laughs> oh, no, not this up. That's the test I wanted to run. See, my build's not quite as bad as I thought it was. It's just a, it's a bug build. It's, it's bugged, so it's not working the way it should. No problem. All right, where are we in this quest here? Let's go for it. I found the coolest unique so far. It's the one where you can break down an item and the affix shards go onto it. Some two hundred sword. Yeah, that thing's awesome. That thing's brand new. Um, it's the only item in the game like it. It is very cool. Um, so big fan there. Where are um? Health bars. Hmm. Hmm. Do a little Captain America action. As we've got. Excuse me. We've got our shield throw. Um, where the cooldown's resetting when it gets back to you. Uh, which means we can throw it pretty regularly. And we're doing uh, some Forge Strike stuff in the interim. Get our bees going. Get our bees and swords. Get our sword wielding bees. It's bug on Twitch or it's it's bug on Twitch or game not full screen on Steam. Oh oh my goodness yeah that's uh. I do not see that on my screen at all, uh, and I will. Uh, but I can see that on my like my preview window of what you're seeing. So that is, um, that is OBS not being fantastic. So give me a minute, and I will. Uh, as soon as I'm not gonna be in imminent peril, which is gonna happen if I realize that I'm fighting in between two spawners. Where are they? There we go. We good? Okay.
Um. Okay. That's weird. I'm not sure how that got reset. Oh, I know exactly how that got reset. Sorry, that's entirely my fault. <laughs> Stand down. Sorry, we're good though. You know, as I'm playing with shield throw here, like I kind of wish it flew just like a touch faster. Not not like a lot, but just just like a little bit. Also, uh, something interesting with the um, the swords that get summoned from Forge Strike. Um, I don't, I don't know if they are this way now, but at least originally, what they were was they were the uh, the wraiths. They were just wraiths uh, that we'd given a sword to and made their models invisible. Just like like set their, their external texture to just zero alpha and uh, gave them a sword and called it a day. So they were actually like the object that was like the, the sword minion itself was actually a, um, a wraith running around invisibly. Which is kind of the reason why they look a little weird, I think. Um, Cause they're, but if you, if you imagine them like they are now, just with someone holding it instead, it makes a lot more sense. Like it kind of drags behind them, and they get close and they take a swing. Stand down. I, I like it, it's quirky, I don't know. This is the one we want. The damage just drops so much. Oh, hey, it's my projectile speed. Should we change? Should, I'm, I'm tempted to change the uh, the Forge Strike um, weapon that gets used into the Anvil. The hammer just feels out of place with the shield. Strictly from a thematic sense. All right, let's go. Questions going on? What's going on here? Are we gonna get more base items with different stats implicit? Yeah, so we do. We, we frequently add. I think every patch for the last I don't know how long we've added more base types with more implicit. Um, we're not gonna be adding in new types of bases. So like um, the the obvious, hopefully obvious category for this is is certain weapon types. That's what I was saying earlier. So like there's not gonna be uh, crossbows or um, like fist weapons. Or one-handed spears, you know, th things like that. But there are going to be, like, new items. There's a few new bases. A few new bases in some of the categories. And I'm not sure which categories. Some of the armor categories. And yeah, they all have their unique implicits. Stand down or die. It's not mandatory for the LE, but in another games with many characters on screen, I often want to see 
Option to make ally models and skills half transparent. Yeah, um, this, is, this is something we, we've talked about and toyed with doing quite a bit, actually. Hey, come on in. Welcome, everybody. Thanks to the rating party. Killer the J. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're having fun. Um, yeah, it's... it's um, we consider trying to make a system like that uh, for, for making your allies uh, VFX quieter and and you know like like less less going on there maybe partially transparent maybe um certain uh extra uh, like particle effects only play for like your own skills or something like that or um you know like like various little things that we've considered to do to make it easier to pick up the things you're doing uh in, in game and um it's it's a big consideration when we're when we're making abilities and um, designing the ability trees and things like that, where we 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 try to make decisions that will not make the visual noise go out of control, um, specifically with multiplayer in mind. Have you come to make me whole? That was that was a good voice line. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. I liked it. We're actually getting a not insignificant number of, of minions pretty regularly here. Guy is beef e. Just like no damage. That's the more accurate reason. We're going to start working pretty hard on getting damage of that shield throw up, I think. Uh, yeah, just, just straight, here we go. Basics. Is Sentinel getting re, uh, reworked slash new skills before 1.0, the Paladin heal skill, for example? Um... I, I can't really go into detail on what's going to be coming down the pipe for um, uh, for Sentinel in general. Not a lot. Um, there's not a lot happening for Sentinel in 1.0. Every um, every at launch, I'll, I'll, every skill at launch will have a skill tree. Um, and you know how we, how we get there. Ho hopefully means. Putting it, adding trees instead of removing skills. <laughs> um. Stand down or die. Right now, healing hands is kind of just a placeholder. Like, hey, well, there's gonna be a, a heal sp skill here. Like, this is gonna happen. Um, no one really uses it. You can't. Really, it's not really good for anything at the moment. Anton, eight, nine months in a row. Thank you very much. Welcome. Glad to have you with us. I feel like I should almost be, I don't know, that's the thing, I should be like figuring out a way to commemorate some of the ones that get, get going really far. Uh, is the story going to be expanded in 1.0, or is it complete for now? Neither. It is not complete and will not be expanded in 1.0. Um, there are still three missing chapters that will get added. Uh, over the course of the few patches um, after 1.0, um, we are, you know, like we're we we, we really want to have uh, that that complete storyline finished up as soon as we can, um, but we think it's more important to, you know, re really. Where, where am I? Does it, does it want me to come down here and, and be like, oh no, I can't make it. Where do I go? Yes, it does want me to do that. <laughs> Probably didn't actually have to go down there. That's fine. We'll do this first. Um, 
yeah, like we we want to have a, a like a really nice complete storyline ready to go um, as soon as we can. But having that play nice and feel fun and all sorts of stuff is more important. Um, and so we really want to take our time with the story and, and make sure it shines. Uh, have you considered either making a variant to spears that are one-handed or allowing us to use spears and shield with some penalty to damage? Absolutely, we've considered that. Um, neither will be happening at 1.0. Yeah, give me that travel speed. Just want, just want it snappier, you know. Um, yeah, we're we're like there's not a lot. Usually, when we're adding in new a new base item type like that, um, there kind of needs to be uh, like like a good reason to do it, I guess, and. There's not really much of an identity that those one-headed spears would have, uh, given the current skills that are available. Um, and I think more likely what'll happen, and this is probably true for pretty well every weapon-based type that's remaining to be added, because there's there's a few still there. Um, there's some that even have IDs in the in the game already that we just don't have any actually implemented yet. Um, and and that's and that's having a um, a mastery or skill or a uh, mastery or a base class come out at the same time as it. So having having a reason to uh, like build new skills with that weapon type in mind, things like that. Have it have it be sort of a like a, a good reason with with lots of stuff instead of just um, like here's a new weapon type. <laughs> you know, uh, there's also lots of there's lots of things that interact with like each weapon type. Um, so it does affect a lot more than just the ones we add. It, it affects other things too. Like it affects the balance of certain nodes on certain trees, and and um, you know, like do we do we want to add that? Like there's that there's that node on Rogue um, that's a different buff for every every weapon type. Do we add it to that? I don't think staffs are there um, as an option. So it's it's like. Does it count towards that? Maybe, maybe not. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that goes into um, adding in a new weapon base type. Stand down or die. Um, and the, the other option is, is that you, uh, you restrict that weapons base type the use really heavily, like we did with bows, uh, which is something that we are still looking to expand, open up a bunch. I guess the short version is, is that we definitely want to add them. Um, we just didn't think we could add them properly in time. So we'd rather add them later properly. And you know, the bajillion other things we have to get done. Uh, right. How do you plan the content out for the game and the future seasons slash leagues? Uh, we have Dungeons and Echoes. Are you going to release content in both areas at the same time or switch between them? Um, the, some combination of both those things. So there'll be, um, I'm sure certain patches where we're like, all right, we're going to focus on dungeons and we're going to add like several dungeons to this patch. Or we'll be like, oh, we're going to focus on the monolith this time. We're going to add a bunch of new mechanics to the monolith and stuff like that. Or maybe there's a patch where like, you know, there's a, there's a new like, overarching mechanic that we're adding that um, that touches both really nicely and and like having like like we, we, we make modifications to both of, the, of those other end game systems at the same time so it's 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 tricky because it's kind of what the situation calls for they both will be getting updates as we go down the road We definitely have uh, a good chunk of um, 
dungeon suggestions that were kind of like, ooh, can we make this work? How's it, like, and, and there's, a, there's a few at the top of that list. We do still need a new, um, a new ring, don't we? Because we only have one throwing ring. Yeah, it's not even that great. So we, we need to, um, we're on the hunt for rings right now. Can this take us across? I don't think it can. I think that ends. Worth a shot. Uh, maybe. Looking good. I'm just wrong. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Or die. Oh, uh, I'm going to ruin this name. That is... Is the, there's, mm, the capital version is much easier to do. <laughs> uh, Masaruidori, thank you very much for the two months. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Uh, are you guys very happy with the vitality changes? Yeah. Uh, my Void Knight has 150 Necrotic Res. That's a lot. You probably, uh, if you have any affixes uh, or points invested anywhere that... Uh, are, are, are added to that, you can probably switch those out for... Something else. It does protect nicely. It's I know, I know you can, if you stack Vitality hard, you do get a lot of extra resistances there. Um, which is nice, really nice if you're, um, going up against Mark for Death stuff, because that shreds out like crazy. I should check what I'm getting from these. What? That's so good! <laughs> I mean, like, the, the, the numbers are kind of low, like, there's not really, like, high tiers or anything, but, like, Yes, please. That's that's two off perfect roll health. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not really a wasted stat there either. That's awesome. I think so far all this gear is self-found on this character. Uh, this weapon I may have pulled out of my stash. Yeah, I pulled the weapon out of my stash. Probably just portal back, actually. Whatever. Let's fight some stuff. Alright. Um, are you guys planning on new class types or just masters for the existing types? I think you'll see... So, we, we, we don't have the uh, next class or mastery specific release um, picked out yet. We do have uh, a good idea as to, like... A few, of the a few of the base classes, like what the next mastery is going to be, we have a really good idea of that. Um, and if we do another base class anytime soon, um, we, we, we've got a pretty good idea of a few front runners of candidates type thing. Nothing set in stone with which, which classes are coming next, uh, yet, but when we do start adding them, I think it's more likely that we'll add masteries first than new classes, new base classes. Um, partially just because there's, there's a lot of stuff, um that still needs to go in the game as, like, core systems and uh, and things like that to, to really bring bring everything to shine. Like, there's, for example, uh, like like a, a pinnacle boss system. Like still still got to get that down. And um, if, we're, if we're building a whole new base class with three masteries, that's a humongous undertaking compared to... Um, Sliding in a new mastery for one of the classes, you know, like there's there's a big difference in scope there. So if we're if we're doing other high priority things at the same time, it, the new masteries are I think more likely to come first. Um, 
McMurgs! Thank you very much for the eight months in a row! That's 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 awesome. Fantabulous. Uh we're 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 going down here, is this where we're going? Void, no, we don't care about this. Frenzy. I mean that's just on kill. I feel like we're coming up here probably. Yeah, get some cooldown stuff going on. Should we let's let's fight him. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen, right? We realize that our uh, main damage is a little bit AOE, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do this real slow and miss our attacks <laughs> again. Oh, got some bees going on. Alright, any more questions here while I'm doing this? My play with streamer mode again? <laughs> Actually, I reset my settings and might not even be on right now. Just for the record, it is an actual, like, graphics settings streamer mode. But it's, it's, it only affects graphics. Just, just to be clear. It was a really good decision. That <laughs> feels a lot better all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going! Uh... <laughs> Is there any chance we get a uh, muffin next week for super nerdy, uh, nerdy meta build discussions? Uh, what's going on next week? Uh, next week I think is still me. Um, but the week after that, I'm going to be recovering from someone drilling a bunch of holes in my face. And I did not expect how uncomfortable I would make myself with that comment. Um, yes. <laughs> Uh, so I will I will be recovering from uh, some pretty pretty intense stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get a new new question here. Um, so week after that, you promised this muffin. Also, hope you're okay. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm. I. It's the dentist. Not. I'm making it sound worse than it is, but it's just. I don't. Not. Not a fan. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. The eighth. I. I. I think muffin's sitting on the eighth. We'll have to ask them. Make sure. All right, hi. Can you tell us anything about uh, reducing flash effects for certain skills and hit effects and so on? Are there any many builds I don't play because of the light effects? Thanks. Well, I would uh, I would turn this off, and then you uh, won't have the problem. Um, as for, like, just the least graphically intensive thing overall completely, um, Aura of Decay, maybe? It's kind of that one, like, big, like, floaty thing around you, other than that, it's about it, because it's, it's, the poison doesn't hit, it, it's always dots. Um, so there's not hit effects that, like, like, sparks and stuff that, like, jump out. Uh... Is 
Is this fire? Uh, uh, uh. projectile speed. Should we just go full fire? I don't hate that. There's the flat physical damage in the crit here. This is where you're like actually throwing your shield. I feel like getting over here is amazing. I just want that projectile speed though, I really enjoyed it. Especially when we're waiting for it to come back to us. Like that. There's a big dump. I love I love getting those like cluster drops of uh, of shards. Big fan. Oh my gosh, this is behind the camera. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Kane. There there is a setting. I can't I can't bring it up. There. There we go. I guess I could have just move my head over. That probably would have been easier. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's it's on right now. It is still on. The, the hit flash is still on. Here, I'll, I'll turn it off, and you can see what it looks like differently. Turn off screen shake for a little bit too. Here, I'll, I'll do the screen shake off. You know, just like just drop everything of feedback stuff. I really like it. I really like it. Um, yeah, that should be should be a bunch of stuff turned off there. See, we're not getting any any uh, hit flash on the character. What's our void res like? Well, 30% of this level is not terrible. <laughs> Try to time the dash because you're invulnerable during dashing. We need some more, uh, some more shred and frailty. We need some more of, of those like offensive ailment helpers. There we go. I'm turning everything back to default, by the way. <laughs> Sore today. Hi, love the game. Thank you. Uh, but sometimes farming random maps becomes a bit annoying in model. Any plans to uh, some end content like farming specific map like in Poe? Um, having having like an item that you bring to the map to like to make it a map, so to speak, um, is not something we're uh, we're introducing in 1.0. Um, there are some changes to the model system in general that we are uh, that we are making. Um, there was a preview last week that uh, showed off a few of those things, not in much detail, but a little a few few things here and there. Alright, thanks, Rizzo. Um, and, what was I saying? I just want to let the voice line play out. <laughs> the...
Oh, it changes the monolith and stuff like that. Yeah, there's there's yeah there's a few just general changes to how the monolith works that that'll help make things a, a little more smooth, I guess. Um, I don't know. You get to pick from a big list of the ones that are there already. Uh, the way that the buffs work will be more clear and less hidden information, which is great. Uh, and we'll also be doing... Um, oh, I see what you mean. I, I just understood the question. I just I just got it. I just got there. Sorry. <laughs> About having like a specific layout that you can target. Um, what do you want? You cannot do that. There kind of is elements of that a little bit already. Because um, there's specific layouts and specific timelines that you can do. But no, like being able to say, like, I want this specific, like, this specific echo. <sighs> Probably not anytime soon, if, if at all. Uh, maybe it's a baby question. That's fine if it is. But what class is easiest to begin and go to level 100 monolith? Uh, I want to return to the gameplay with friend. But I don't know the current meta. Um, there, there, there's not really any... You can't pick a master that it won't be possible to do that with. Um, as far as easiest, I do not know off the top of my head. Um, I feel like there's kind of always a good... Um, Either Swarm Blade or Werebear build that's floating around. Um, sometimes both. Uh, it's usually usually on the easier side. Um, I feel like there's usually a uh, Necro Wraith build that's 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 floating around that's generally on the easier side too. Um, I feel like there's a couple good Rune Master builds right now. There's, there's, you can go to, um, go to maxroll.gg or lastepochtools.com and, uh, they both got tons of build guides. Um, there's also, uh, there's, there's a bunch of, like, content creators that put out stuff like this. Um, whole, whole bunch of them. Uh, I'm not, not gonna list every single one of them, but, um... Yeah, there's just yeah, there's a whole bunch. I would one of the key things is just like checking for which patch it is. Make sure so make sure it says like point nine two. Doesn't need to be specifically point nine two K. Or even point nine one. Most of the point nine one builds work just fine in point nine two. Here's the here's the key thing. It's the most important piece of advice I can give you. Never pay attention to what I'm doing because it's just bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Umbral Blades Rogue will get you no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good call out. Umbral, Umbral Blades is really strong. Um, kind of always has been since it came out. It's pretty young. Pretty young skill still. Uh, hey Mike, does the team plan to include some kind of reward specifically for legacy, such as achievement-based cosmetics, or is the only plan for cycles? I would love to see some emphasis and love for legacy. Um, we don't have uh, achievement-based cosmetics um, specifically coming at 1.0 for either. Um, I would say there's probably more likely, at least initially, going to be stuff for uh, for cycles rather than legacy. Um, a lot of a lot of the achievements that I've when I was been thinking about achievements and things that would be cool, most of them um, have been like cycle agnostic. So like doesn't matter if you're playing on a cycle or not uh, most of the ones that I thought were, were good ideas um, apart from like ladder competitions which kind of only work in cycles <laughs> uh, 
Um, but I, feel, I do feel like this is probably in reference to the forum thread that's been going on. Um, I, I don't know if I've read every reply in that thread, because I think it kind of got away from me in the last couple days. But um, I didn't see many specific suggestions in there, which is fine. But we haven't talked about it internally, so I don't, uh, I don't have a, like, here's what we're doing or anything like that. I have no idea what his health is at right now. The fire is. Can we just take this? Let's just take this. <laughs> we need to we need to we need to take some time and craft a ring here. It's fine. Yeah, just that... That extra 7 base throwing damage, I think it's going to be pretty important. What is the best time to start crafting? When you drop your first shard. There's really no bad time to start crafting. Um, the uh, crafting materials don't uh, like the crafting materials don't hold any intrinsic uh, trading value um, the crafting materials that you find early on are not rare um, and you're not missing out on a huge thing by, by using them um, like you're not, there's not some opportunity cost of not being able to use them later type thing because you'll, you'll find plenty more especially the ones you're finding early um, the, the only thing that's kind of like, maybe you should save it is like, uh, like runes of shattering are, uh, you, you generally want a lot of those and they're less useful early. It's kind of the only piece of crafting that I might recommend saving a little bit, but if you need one, use it. Um, ooh, ooh. It's void damage. And melee and void cleave. Yeah. Uh, still fun. But yes. Uh, crafting. Yeah, it's... it's Just go for it. Because, the, the, because they're not uh, like a currency item. Um, there's, there's... And they don't combine up into each other. Uh, there's much less of a reason to hold on to them. So yeah, like, just go for it, experiment, have fun. Yes. Yes. God be with you. I got I got my mom with the. Um, just, just the, the way she said yes reminded me of this. So yeah, someone like, what does Y-E-S... Is it old? Old internet joke. Uh, what does Y-E-S spell? Is it yes? You sure? Yeah, yeah. Y-E-S spells yes. Uh, and then you ask them to what E Y-E-S spells. And every once in a while, someone looks at you and goes, Yes? It is eyes, in case you're wondering. But when you break the E off at the start, E, Y, E, S. They go, yes? Yeah. Anyways, uh, I was quite excited. <laughs> Thank you for your advice, having a stream. You're welcome. Uh... <laughs> uh, is the cycle starting on February 1st, 21st with 1.0? Yes. Cycle starting February 21st with 1.0. I assume that the base game to be showcased upon release. Yeah. Yeah, that's that that's that's the game. 
On Pineapple Cycle starts, release game starts, there you go. Where are we going here? Really enjoying that. We just go no cooldown. Go fire hard. Yeah, let's just let's just get damage, right? Just just take the damage nodes. Damage, 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 damage. That's how you, that's how you build, right? Thanks for answering. Can't wait for 1.0. Smooth monolith also sounds very nice. Yeah. You know, it's little things like um, we're doing a like com uh, corruption compression. So like um, th 300 corruption or 200 corruption will be similar to what 300 corruption is now. Um, and 500 corruption or 300 corruption will be similar to what 500 corruption is now. So it actually scales faster. Um, and there's 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 some benchmarking numbers that you can look at there, and they're not. Um, it is smooth. Those numbers are just uh, represented to, to give you an idea of like, uh, so you can so you can benchmark against what your expectations are a little bit easier. You're like, oh, if I could do this before, what's it going to be now? Um, so that it'll be it'll require less corruption grinding, which is important. <laughs> um, and then also the uh, the difficulty in general is just just shifting that onto corruption more instead of onto the mods. The mods will be static. Uh, I remember seeing a video way back of a person using Warpath and it pulling mobs towards them. Was it ever a thing? If so, what made that happen? Uh, yeah. Uh, this one. Nope. Uh... Uh, that got removed? And I just didn't know about it? It forced you to stand still. That was a big thing. That's probably why we removed it. If you if you're wondering about the suggestion that that came up recently about an, uh, a a a um a relic that would would give that to Warpath, I looked at that suggestion. There's no way we're doing that item. <laughs> Sorry. The the range it was suggesting for the pull. If I remember correctly, I can't remember exactly, but the range the range it was suggesting for the pull was like this. <laughs> like, no. I mean, it, happened, it was it was a node on Warpath itself. Yeah. Uh, if you end up doing achievements and rewards per cycle on ladder and whatnot, do you plan to do a limited availability for top players, or will uh, reach this score type deal for all? Um, we, we 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 don't. None of this is set in stone. We have not decided on this. Uh, everything I say here is speculation and me saying what I'd like to see. So just disclaimer. None of this is decided. Um. Personally, what I would like to see is a combination of both, um, and in kind of a weird way. I'd like to see it such that if you, um, where there's some sort of like point system that you earn, and uh, repeatedly placing in the top 100, let's say, or or something, you know, or in the top 500. Um, Nets you a very small amount of these points that could be could be collectively built towards something big uh, with the people who are hitting the the top spots just getting a lot more of it all at once. 
um, maybe some sort of maybe some sort of title or something. But like the important part being that um, most of these things could be achievable even if you weren't the tip top. But maybe it would take you a few cycles instead of just one. So something like that. that. That's what I'd like to see personally. Um, but we haven't we haven't gotten around to doing that yet. There won't be anything like that for 1.0. Um, uh, there, oh, there's, there's one thing kind of like that, I think, but it's not linked to performance, so anyone can have it, and it's real easy, real easy. <laughs> And technically, we've done that before. There was there was a thing forever ago where it was like, uh, it was it was like for sharing some post, you got something. We still haven't put it in the game yet. Yet. <laughs> It was removed? Yeah, it was removed. Uh, I think PoE's challenge system is super good. It really incentivizes players to play a lot of different content instead of just doing one thing over and over. Yeah! Um, I think that they have... Uh, enough content where incentivizing those sorts of things is really useful. Um, I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, in the, in like the volume of content that we really need to, really like need to push doing various things. Cause like, it's kind of just a few. <laughs> um, but yes, that, that is, that is a good consideration to have with a system like that. Uh, what is in general the team's favorite thing to design? What's your personal favorite? Oh, I mean, every, every like there's so many people that design different things and enjoy designing different things. Um, I think that so there's 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 usually a big group of people that gets together for designing uh, new skill trees, the, the initial brainstorming phase of new skill trees, and that's always a ton of fun. Um, it's the whole like no bad ideas phase of things. That's that's really just 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 great. <laughs> Everyone's just posting ideas that you're like, that's a terrible idea, but it's hilarious. And like, you know, there's just sometimes the whole idea is just a meme that just gets posted, and there's there's no words that go with it, you just have to guess what they mean. Um, you know, things like that. So that, that phase is always a lot of fun. Um, individually, I think a lot of people enjoy designing items. Um, like, we just have a, a persistent, like, item suggestion thread internally that we, people just post in. Um, I really like tossing an item in there every once in a while. Uh, but like the level design people, I'm sure their favorite thing to design is levels. And you know, the uh, like character design team, probably their favorite thing to design is characters, not items sort of thing. So my view of what people like to design is probably pretty heavily skewed. <laughs> um, my, my personal favorite stuff is, is, is items. They're just like... Um, I do, I do a lot of, uh, I, I, I really enjoy designing, um, custom magic cards and, uh, making a magic card. I think there's a lot of similarities between that and an item. It's this like self-contained object that has to fit into a larger system. Um, and you can, you can really take extreme top down or bottom up design approaches or, or some combination therein. Like you don't, it, there's there's a lot of options, and you can, um, I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of similarities there. I really like both of those things. Welcome, traveler. Yeah, that bug. Oh, 
All right. More questions. Greetings, new player here. Are there any plans for a support archetype, uh, like an or a bot from PoE, for example? Um, yeah. So there are lots of support options in the game already. We don't have any. We don't have any plans to. Um, I guess uh, have have a class that's shoehorned into support specifically. Um, we like giving lots of support options for people that want to invest in that sort of thing. Um, but there's always damage options on the class as well. So I'll use Paladin as probably the best example of this right now. Um, healing Hands doesn't have a tree yet, but it will, we'll, we'll get there eventually. So this is just a straight healing ability. Um, there's Holy Aura. That is every aura from every game in one. <laughs> pretty pretty well. <laughs> um, you know, it's got Smite, which half of what it does, like it, it attacks things, but it also heals, and then you can use it to apply debuffs to things. Um, so there's, there's support things you can do that are offensive as well, um, like just stunning things. So Shield Bash, you can use the shield on this Paladin to also stun things very reliably, which is a fantastic form of uh, support. And, uh, yeah, and, and, like, you can debuff people so you can, like, you can get frailty chance for smite. And, um, so when it hits, it applies the frailty debuff to enemies, in which case they, they deal less damage to your allies. So you're, um, you know, like, there's more support aspects there. So there's, there's lots of things that might not be directly, um, like, this is a, this is the support class. Um, but you can, you can definitely make support builds. Like, uh, Judgment, when it, dis when it, you drop it, it leaves Consecrated Ground that heals allies that stand in it. Um, and, and buffs and, and gives them, um, spell damage as well. So there's, like, sigils will also heal allies. There's, you know, there's, there's, there's thing there's lots of things you can do to make a support class. And it's not just Paladin. Like, there's support class availability elsewhere as well. Um, Paladin's the most traditional one, probably. But we, we really design, uh, encounters and challenges such that we're not looking at a Holy Trinity type thing. Um, so we're not expecting you to have a tank. We're not expecting you to have a healer. Um, if you if you want to bring a tank and you want to bring a healer, it'll totally work. It's going to be awesome. But uh, you don't need it if you don't want it. Yeah, what else? There? Druid, Druid has uh, some good options there. Um, there's some support options. So I was, I made us re recently, we were playing online as a group and I made a support rogue. Um, it's not very good, but it's a lot of fun. You basically have a hundred percent haste up time on your allies. Uh, uh, just like from various things that grant haste to everyone in an area. I just take all of them <laughs> and, uh, suddenly everyone has haste basically all the time and it's great. Everyone's just flying. Um, you know, there's, there's different ways you can do support builds. That one was um, also focusing really heavily on uh, armor shred and fire res shred, so you can like buff up other people's damage by reducing the defenses of the enemies you're facing as well. I do really want to make a better ring still. I should put a filter down that like calls out. Okay, our, th our, th our throwing cost right now is pretty darn low. If I even take one point in that, though, does it just, like, spike? No, we're still, still at zero. Oh, yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're activating Manifest Armor for sure in this build. There's some cool stuff there. Even if it's just another body on the field for us. We weren't, we weren't using Hammer Throw anyways. There's a big spam there. I don't know if I should be reading that and answering questions or something, but... Ah, random name X! Thank you for the 100 bits, wins Falconer. You know when Falconer is? September 21st? Wait, no. 
<laughs> I always say September, February 21st. Falconer's February 21st. Oh, I gotta botch that hard. Yep, I totally know what day it is. Here, as, as penance. As penance for my sins. Here's a cool thing to show you. Oh, look at that. Wow, so cool. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> when move is bound to a mouse button like MB4, for example, or any other key, you have to use the same key to interact with stash NPCs, etc. Uh, will left click ever be locked to interact even if we bind move to another key? Uh, it's awkward to have to use MB4 to open stash, etc., but I want to move with that key. Sorry, long question. I was unaware that's how this worked. Um, it's probably just a mistake. Uh... Oh, it's specifically to interact with 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 world objects. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's possible for us to do. Uh, with the way with the way that opening, I mean, like the, the, we, we, with redesigning the system, it would be possible. But um, with the way the system's set up right now, the way you issue a command to like open your stash is by issuing a move command on it. Um, I don't know. Is that MTX? I don't know if that's MTX. I, I, I honestly have no idea what it is. <laughs> Not MTX. Thank you, Kane. <laughs> that is good old fashioned find it and put it on gear. I would like to be able to rebind the A key, force attack from minions to my middle mouse scroll, but I tried today but didn't recognize my input. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I do not know any problems that are happening with that right now. Um, you can rebind in Windows your mouse button to just do the A key if you want when you're playing the game. I know that's not really a solution, but... If you're if you're really looking for a workaround, it's the best I got for you. Something all pre one point owners get? Like should, there, there's, you already got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you you already got your your pre one point of stuff. Oh, it's an enemy. It's not gear. <laughs> oh, I I, <laughs> I definitely wrote it down on the on the preview thing. <laughs> no BS is new gear. Sorry, that's an enemy. My bad. Take a look at it here. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. This is why I need supervision. <laughs> all crits all the time. I do think it'd be kind of cool to like have an MTX where you like where you you looked like um, a specific enemy or something like that, and then 
like some hidden Easter egg in the cutscenes. This is not happening. I'm just. I think it'd be cool. Um, we're like, if you're wearing the MTX of that character when you reach that character in the campaign, they like make some comment about like, oh, you look good there. I think that'd be sweet. Or compliment your fashion sense. <laughs> Can you have its gear after you kill it? <laughs> no. Heavy gaming! Ho ho ho! What's going on? How's it going? Glad to have you here. 30 months in a row. That's a big one. That's a real big one. I tried to use the uh, the bottle you gave me at a local brewery, um, and they were like, they they didn't they don't fill up that size. Um, so and they were like, no, you got you got to use ours. I'm like, no, oh, come on, or like the, the the same size or something. I don't know. They were weird about it. I called another one, and they're like, yeah, we'll do it, no problem. <laughs> So I'm going to that one next time. Yeah. I have a feeling the person didn't understand what I was asking for. Type type thing. <laughs> it was it's a bit of a misunderstanding there. Do we go full fire? That's the question. I kind of want to, but I kind of want to just invest in the damage right now first. Because we go Fire Forge Strike as well. Idols! Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, ask this along. Long time ago, but now that lesser games like Street Fighter, Fortnite, and Final Fantasy soon have gotten them, <laughs> Le's secret lair when? Secret lair? Like like uh, like a hideout? Uh, like a, like a place for you to go to where you can like customize the stuff and be like, oh, this is my this is where I come to hang out. This is my bat cave. Um, it, it's. <sighs> We don't have any active plans to make that at the moment. There would have to be some, um, a lot of other things finished first before we did that. Uh, not limited to um, some server architecture changes. Um, having a bunch of people in one scene, if they're if they're going to and from that scene to like access their utilities like stash and respecking and things like that having those people on a single server is really valuable to us um so everyone splitting off into their own secret hideouts is kind of costly for us uh so it's definitely no time soon Yeah, when you said Secret Lair, my first thought was, like, Magic X Last Epoch. Is that what you're talking about? I should have looked at which IPs there were. Street Fighter. Is Fortnite getting a Magic release? I didn't see that. that that's that's where I was... Okay, so like, I, I know, like, Street Fighter has theirs. I'm using the Universes Within version of Zangief as one of my commanders, and I love it. Uh, that's in the box somewhere. Um, if 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 Wizards ever wants to do a collaboration with us, oh my God, I am 
Oh, I'm, t I'm torn because I've, I've rallied so hard against outside IP universes beyond stuff. But, like, the opportunity to, like, get content into magic? Oh my god, that's a dream come true. I'm very torn. Let mine in, but no one else's, right? <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I answered the completely wrong question, sorry. But yes, um, uh, magic secret layers are, are a thing. They are, they are really sweet. I do like just when it's like uh, an art rework of an existing card. Uh, they do that. I really like those. Um, I, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the mechanically unique Universes Beyond cards. But I caved and I got a bunch of Lord of the Rings cards, because they're great, and I love Lord of the Rings, but... The line is blurry. <laughs> Alright, recently I saw someone ask about the Celestial Weapon skins from Kickstarter. Have we ever seen what those look like? They, they're they in-game. People can use those. Uh, nope, wrong thing. I don't have access to them on this account. Oh, I could go give myself access. I'm not going to do it while the stream's open, though. Just in case I mess up. If you want to see what those look like, you should be able to find someone. Um, I'll look, look on the Discord to see someone that's tagged with a high enough uh, tier, and they should be able to show them to you. You get, you're still free? Up to four. I can handle four. Maybe you might take that point out. Or I may have to invest in this, one more point in that node. That'll be back to zero. That's fine. What did this node give us? Was it really good? The fire shred and, yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. All right. I don't know if you get them, what they look like. Yeah, um, they they should be in game. If hmm. Kane, if it's really easy to get a picture of one of them. But if it's not, don't worry about it. Will the Kickstarter Halo NTX be coming with 1.0? I believe so. I saw some people working on it. Not 100% sure. Even internally, only people of the correct Kickstarter tiers have access to them outside of testing. Kickstarter exclusive is just that. Yeah, I, I do have, like, so this account that I'm playing on here is not, this account didn't exist when Kickstarter uh, was happening. I do have another account that properly has the stuff. But this is my, this is my developer account, so it's kind of bare bones. <laughs> I think technically I'm out an item creation skin, or a uh, skin, an item design. You hear that? I'm coming for it. You gotta put it in whatever I want. <laughs> like I haven't had a bajillion of those already. <laughs> Yeah. 
I do love that the walls in here are kind of suggestions. And we are, we're, we're like the the tiny bit of mana cost on uh, on shield throw has been is having a weirdly heavy impact on how much uh, how consistent our damage output is, which is interesting. So next passive point, where are we for still oh, not far? Next passive point is definitely going in. Oh no, we're looking at this one. How far are we? Eh, not that bad. Stand down or die. I may even just gonna take that point out. Ooh, that looks like a decent ring base for crafting. Just get the damage up. We want that to hit hard. The rain, the rain here is super cool, and I love the way it looks. And it's gonna look so much better soon too. It's just gonna get better and better. Like there's some shadow stuff that does look really nice in here. I can't. I, I, I was. Initially, when I saw this, I was like, why are they swaying so perfectly? And I'm like, the thing that's making them sway is connected in the same way to both of them. Because we're on a boat. I want to say that I really like LE, and I think AFGs are a really good place right now. Yeah, playing Grimdon at the moment. Oh, Grimdon is such a good update right now. Um, uh, keep up your fantastic work. We'll probably play LE tomorrow. Ah, that's awesome. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out and playing our game and being awesome. Let's find the captain of this ship. Who's in charge around here? That these guys, these chimera are, are like surprisingly deadly. Just be careful of them. All right. Definitely going there. Definitely going there. What am I doing? It's like the shield throw node. I gotta get this. That level up happened. Uh, which means I should still be able to level up. Okay, yeah. We gotta get that point. Because right now, four mana is making a big difference. So we probably should have him out. Let's run around in a circle for a bit. Let's find another question to answer. No more questions. <sighs> I need a question to survive. It's okay. Oh, I'll do. Spike. We said for three months. I feel like that's that that may have been higher, a lot higher, and something lapsed. And uh, starting back up again, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. I recognize that Our name. That's all. Is dead. Life having fun. Hello, there we go. Hello. Uh, all right, hi heavy. Are there any plans for MTX that are not purely visual, but something Break like custom voice lines or skins body. that can change voice, uh, voiceover, or have custom voiceovers, or maybe a unique that speaks to you with unique voice lines? I mean, that all sounds awesome. Um, I, I don't I haven't heard anything like that but uh, I do really like the idea and I think I think that uh, voice lines will be tricky um, just cause we still we're still we're still working on some of the voice lines for the actual game um, I 
Take yourself upon my body. <laughs> That's a funny line. Uh, but <laughs> not nothing specific. Sorry. All right, Harton. I know I'm hiding like most of the gear you just dropped, but poor showing. Come on. Hurry, I'm afraid you'll have to. Release. I'll take that as a yes. Get to the railing and give a signal when you're ready. The cage used to be up here, didn't it? Right? Am I crazy? Well, yeah, but like, about this? This armor, fire damage, armor health. Slap that up there. Another double healther. Yeah, good stuff right there. Yeah. Hey, all right. Yeah, I'll only slow you down. Please go on without me. You will only slow me down. We'll sit there. The item talks to you gimmick after 100 hours of playtime with it. <laughs> I mean, if there was gonna be something like that, there, there would have to be a way to turn it off, right? I mean, or 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 just like have it be exactly that have it be a gimmick have it be a fun little thing like that, that you don't expect to you know to work or anything like that just it's fun little oh it's a neat little easter egg that's cool um so it never becomes part of a meta build or anything i mean or, or you just go into the settings and turn off voice lines you know Let me hear. All right, fine. I'll come back later. Or earlier? I'll come, I'll come back earlier? Yeah. I'll have come back now? Later? This is a weird way that works. Does anyone have any, like, sleeper time travel movies or TV shows they really like? Um, like, like, something that's, you know, there's, there's, like, the classic, like, Back to the Future. Definitely not a sleeper. Um, but recently I was recommended the movie Primer. That's, uh, it's a little bit older. The, the, I think the budget may have been a little on the lower side. Um... But the writing is fantastic, and the, like, oh, if you can figure that out in first watch through, I will be unbelievably impressed. I tried to, I tried to figure it out without watching a YouTube video on it, but I got it wrong. <laughs> But my favorite time travel movie, personally, is Bill and Ted. And I think it's an underrated uh, time travel movie for one specific scene when they're trying they're trying to like break into a police station at one point, and they're like, "One's like, hey Bill, yeah Ted, remind me to." To call the police station later, or something like that, like like when because they'll like go back in time and and then like from a phone help themselves in the present, and by actively telling each other to remind each other to do something, it automatically happens because they've gone back and done it because they've remembered to do it, and it's it's just like they they realize that because they own a time machine, they have the ability to affect things in the present be telling themselves to remember to go back in time and change something in the present. And that 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 moment was uh like really enjoyed that. 
It was me who stole my dad's keys. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, you know what's up. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so I probably got something wrong there. I apologize, but yes. <laughs> I forgot it was his dad's keys. It's the most excellent adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Devs be like goal of the day, create a gimmicky item that will never become meta so people won't complain about it. I mean, that is the, the, exactly what my thought process was. I'm like, if we're going to do something funny and gimmicky like that, it, it wouldn't be able to be actually, like, powerful. But what if they forget to remind the other person? Well, they'll know because it won't happen. And they'll be like, no, no, really, you gotta remind me. And they'll know if they remember to remind them or not. Oh, 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 we got it. Yes. Free shield. Wasn't it? Wasn't it just six? Did I? Did I do something wrong? That not working is funny. I feel like I've brought that up before. Huh. What did I do wrong? Because I did something wrong. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna take that passive point out. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, Mike, to answer your question, you gotta ping me? Alright, let's go back and see what you was. Thank you, Evie. Uh, I think other game developers missed the loot filter. Uh, I think you have actually succeeded with this part very well. Thank you. Uh, what were your thoughts about this when you started with Last Epoch? Um, having a built-in loot filter was a very early decision. Or die. Um... The extent to which the loot filter exists was a little bit less of a cut and dry, like, well, yeah, obviously we're going to do that type decision. Um, but there, but there, there was basically right from the beginning us being like, are we, are we going to do a loot filter? Yes, we're going to do a loot filter. Like, that, that was the, that was the, are we going to do a loot filter discussion? <laughs> Um, and a lot of that came down to, um, you know, wanting to keep things primarily in engine if we can, not having people go to, um, like uh, other, other, download other programs to make the game run the way they want it to, um, which can work fantastic too. But I think a big part of it is that a big part of why we have a loot filter came down to, um, not wanting to uh, curate the items for the players too heavily. Because um, we know that we don't always know what's best for for, for the players. What, what We don't know what items they want. And um, we really didn't want to get in a situation where someone was farming on one class for items on another class because you were making a weird build on that other class. And... 
uh, the only way to farm efficiently for those items was on, like, like say, say you're trying to make a two-handed rogue. And um, we're like, oh, yeah, we're not going to drop any two-handed weapons on rogues at all. And so you got to farm on, and there's a reduction, actually, so I'm kind of <laughs> making the opposite point here. But um, you, it's not as bad as just, like, never showing two-handed swords or something like that on a rogue. And then having to be like, okay, well, I'm going to go on to a forge guard to farm my weapon for my rogue. We, we didn't want that to happen. Um, so we wanted to have the loot drop be basically just willy-nilly, like, drops are basically the same for everyone, um, which meant there needs to be a lot of items dropping in order to reliably get something that's an upgrade. Um, and because there's way more gear that you don't want than you do want, even if you, even if you drop 20 awesome pieces of gear, most of them won't be for your build. Um... And so we, did, we didn't want to try and guess what items you needed for the build you're playing. Like, we, there's, there's a whole bunch of abuse cases that come into play there as well. So it's kind of like, we just wanted gear to be, the drops to be very random, uh, which meant we needed a lot of them, which meant we needed a way to have the players curate what those drops are, at least what they see. Um, means we need a loop filter. Does Final Destination count as a time travel movie? I don't think so. Maybe. And I don't think so. I think it's a movie with time travel in it. I don't think it's a time travel movie. Can't my future self drop me some LP4 items? <laughs> the, the Epoch, uh, you have less control over it than you might think. Um, you're kind of more just asking it to do things for you, and it's deciding if it wants to. Yeah. I'm completely making that up. <laughs> Oh, Cyborg getting in trouble. Get him, Kane. Get him. No. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, like, hybrid, like, melee throwing build here. <laughs> I don't know how I ruined my mana cost for it. But somehow I just ruined it. I can like take that point out and it's still gonna be the same cost. <laughs> I don't know what I did. But I'm gonna take that right now. There's just so much fire res in here. So much fire res. Let's get some Majelka. Now, the oracles, the hey now. I've seen how you handle yourself. All you need to do is clear a path. Clear a path, eh? I can do that. Oh, my back is stiff today. What's our poison? It's like 51, no problem. We should, re we should really be taking a, a closer look at the gear we're wearing. Because I believe a lot of it has forging potential still.
you know, or have opportunities for sweet things. Cold penetration. Hybrid stun avoidance. Ah! Uh, not useful. Or again, a potion use. Uh, let's get rid of the spell damage first. Minion health. I mean, we do have minions, but ah, oh, crit chance, much better. Cold damage. Ah! Still an upgrade. Let me through. Let me let me through. This is the problem with this map. It's too much the same color. Let's see. Buried in the slums. She told ding, me there it is. The ding, there it is. They were the same. I, I am so confused why this didn't reduce the mana cost more. I'm, I'm just like sitting here trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna like immediately as soon as the stream's over go look and see why. <laughs> and if it's a bug that I can fix. I promise I don't only fix bugs for builds that I'm playing. <laughs> that would be terrible. But I do get extra motivated for them. <laughs> Are there some plans to bring slow, heavy-hitting skills a little bit more in line with the spamming skills? For example, something like positive ailment frequency above 100. percent We dabbled with the uh, with with the ailment, um, like basically an ailment version of um, the um, added damage multiplier, like how. Um, added added damage on Forge Strike is more valuable than added damage on Rive, for example. Um, does it say it in here? Added oh, right at the very bottom. Added damage applies at 400% effectiveness. So that, um, compared to like, uh, where's Rive? Yeah. The first two are 100, the third one's 200 effectiveness. So, like, um, that, we, we tried to do that with um, elements, actually. We looked at that. It didn't really work. Um, I, I'd say it's unlikely that that'll get pushed in anytime soon, if at all. When she told me it'd take the courage of a Ruby Nagasa, I didn't expect this. But it's one step closer to getting the truth. Uh, when going through the time rift thingies, we used to have a wormhole effect animation. It's still in the game, but only in a couple spots now. And the rest were changed to a normal loading screen. How come? Um, we frequently get feedback that people don't like that. Um, one of the biggest problems with it is that it doesn't play during a loading screen. Um, and we, for a long time, we'd just, like, get people being like, just load the game while it's doing that. It's fine. Well, it looks terrible when you do that. It looks really terrible when you do that, because it, it, it's this huge moving effect on screen, and it hitches and stops, and, um, and, and it just, people do not like the way that looks. Um, it's, it's definitely worse that way. So, um... We have to play it and then load afterwards, which extends the loading screen. Um, and no one likes long loading screens. One of the things we try and do is make short loading screens. Um, I know it may not seem like that sometimes, but it's where we put a ton of our effort towards is shorter loading screens. Um, see, I get really fast loading screens. <laughs> it makes me better. It's hope. Um, what am I getting at? 
Oh, why is that not there? Yeah. And so we, we, we've put it that... It's also kind of an outdated visual. We kind of want to make it look nicer. We also got quite a few reports. Not... Uh, quite a few is an exaggeration. We had some people saying that it would um, like make them dizzy. I, I, know, I know my wife can't look at it. She saw it once when we were making it like a year ago or two years ago, whenever it was, and uh, like walked into the room. I was, I'm like, hey, come look at this thing. And she like walks in, looks at the spinning thing on the screen, and just goes, uh, nope. Like, I'm gonna puke. But she can't play Half Life without puking, so. <laughs> Probably not a good litmus test. My point is. Um, we, we, we did get a fair bit of negative feedback on that, so we reduced the places that it exists. Um, but I do know that that type of effect is, it's, 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 um, definitely a nod, it's a, it's a nod to Chrono Trigger. Um, that one is a little, it's like, it's like there's two planes that squish in, and then like a line that like goes wavy back and forth, um, but when you do major time travel events, uh, in Chrono Trigger, that the type of effect that plays. Um, and and there's other, like, you know, uh, Stargate has something really similar, and uh, I'm sure there's other ones too, but, you know, like, there's there's various things. And so, yeah, we, 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 we do really like the effect, yeah. but um, seeing it too many times is probably not ideal. I think that we'll see it if we can make it play at the same time as a loading screen, you'll see it definitely more then. If we can make it play, um, this square, I wish I'd seen it. I can only imagine. We just make it look nicer in general. We'll probably see it more then too. I got one more teaser to do. We're getting late on. The, we're getting long on the tooth on the stream. So I, I'm gonna bring that up real soon. Next, next respite. Next zone transition. Or death. Hope everything is going well. Is that a new uh, new logo shirt? Nope. Last week I was wearing the old logo shirt. This is this has been the this is our third shirt logo, uh, and has been our primary shirt logo for a couple years now. Oh my goodness! Put the map up there. I can't see it. Uh, speaking of negative feedback, what was the thingy that got changed based on community feedback that you would never have expected to get critiqued that much and has never thought of changing it that much? Oh, that's a great question. I don't have a good answer for it. Um... I don't know. Uh, let me put this cool little guy up. Well, I think about that. What got so much negative feedback that we had to change it that we wouldn't have expected? The crafting system. The old crafting system. The, like... And I completely understand why it got so much negative feedback now. Um... Well, academically, I can understand it. Um, but when it, when it used to show a percent chance for hard success failure, um, the, the, old, the old crafting system, so like, uh, where's that new character? for anyone that doesn't know, so, so we have this forging potential number up here now. Um, and it, it starts at a number, and that's the max you have, and it like ticks down as you as you forge on it. As you craft on the item, you're using up this resource that the item has to be crafted, this potential. Um, and when it hits zero, it's the item's done. In the past, we actually had a number that started at zero and ticked up called instability. Um, and as you did more things to the item, the instability went up. And uh, at some point, you would do a craft, and 
or as, as the instability went up, the chances of the craft uh, locking the item completely would go up. And um, so it's like, if it's, it's, in, it's incredibly similar to what we have now effectively, but um, it feels very different to use. And I never would have really thought... Um, that was something I was surprised about how how negative the feedback was, um, and a lot a lot of that was based on like, um, like like misconceptions in how the system worked and, um, you know, logical fallacies and things like that. But it it didn't really matter what the basis of it was, the the feelings that actually that the players experienced was the most important thing. Really, the why was kind of irrelevant. Um, the why was important to how we fixed it. Um, but the why was irrelevant to, uh, if it needed fixing or not. I almost need to put, like, just auto attack on my bar. <laughs> All right, can you play seasonal content without creating a new character and what kind of progress will be moved to regular mode after the season? Um, so for the, uh, for 1.0, cycle and non-cycle will have the same content. So you can play existing characters on cycle content. It, like Falcon or Warlock, item factions, all of those things, the major cycle content is releasing simultaneously on um, all game modes. Um, when you when when the cycle ends and the so characters like Don't short version, it's POE version. It's PO, it's POE style. If you know what that is, great. Um, longer version, um, I guess it's actually closer. I should say it's Diablo two style. It's closer to that because technically it's slightly, they're slightly different. Um, but basically, what's going to happen is what's that sound? It's weird. All of the stuff you have on your character will get moved over. Um, the we don't have a system for moving your stash just yet because we're because it's it doesn't matter um because there's no there's not going to be a stash uh like transition conflict that's going to happen i'm playing with this up still i'm sorry <sighs> you don't care about my gameplay anyways you just want to see the cool stuff right Oh, I'm the worst sometimes. Uh, yeah. So the the you'll when it finishes and things to transfer over, we still have to work out how stashes are going to get transferred over. But it'll probably be through a remove only tab where you can pull your items out of it, but you can't put new items into it. So you're not getting a ton of free stash tabs each time it rolls over. Um. Uh, but yeah. We made blues way too good. It did make blues really good. To be fair, though, both versions of the crafting system are, are what I would call an RPG revolution. Both of them. I mean, thank you. I uh, love both of them. I I think I I do enjoy the one we have now more. Um. So like, as confused as I was by the feedback initially, and frustrated by the feedback I was uh, after a while, um, I do think it was really a really good thing that we got that feedback and we're able to like action on it um it's throwing attacks you'll increase damage based on their mana cost uh oh i want to get this down to zero though it's still sweet uh just 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 shield throw right Yeah, so I'm really glad that we did get the feedback and that we changed the system. Because I do like it more now. I think it was an overall improvement.
<laughs> you wanted to see how long it would last? Not that much longer because the stream's almost over. <laughs> One day I'll learn to do that. <laughs> yes. 35. Get that spec slot. That's what I'm waiting for. Alright. Are we going with our manifest armor? I think so. Shield Bash is an option. Rebuke's an option. Uh, Ring of Shields will be an option eventually. I think, we just, I think we just pop Manifest Armor in there for now just to get a few things. Uh, what do we have uh, good stats that we want to give him? Most of our stuff, un Uniques he gets very little from. Uh, so the Helmet's probably the best way to do it. The if wielding is nothing. It's so a strength, health, re health regen, and endurance. Mm -hmm. That chest is not doing us any favors. My goodness, we should be switching that out. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, next time, next time, we're going to do a crafting session at the start. And we're going to fix our gear, because gross... But we are going to take stats from chest here to start. <laughs> it's just awful. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Like playing Iron Man mode, all the all the stats are useless even though it's yellow. Hey, accidentally playing Iron Man mode. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got the six shield. That's all we need, right? Accidentally being a noob. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be funny for a second. <laughs> I should <laughs> I should have stretched it before I switch it. Oh, come on. Let me resize this. Uh, so frustrating. Okay, whatever. Um, charity logo's tiny for a minute. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna craft on this. We're going we're gonna to end the stream with a little crafting. Uh, all right. Okay, that's really good. Um, I, th I think we we go just straight fire damage here. Do we try and seal the fire damage? Lucky roll, but didn't get it. Okay, and got a good roll. It's not exactly where you want the seal to happen, but... Uh, Can we do... Is there any other blocks? Health, regen... Hmm. What do we have that we even want to put here? Endurance is probably... Crit avoidance. That's what we want. Okay. Be ter terrible base. Just an awful base. Somehow still better than that, though. Hmm. 
Very cool. Back over here. <laughs> Dodge block ring that class you're playing now is called Ninja Knight. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the implicit's a waste of stat, yeah. But I got, I got the, um, I got a sealed stat on it, so the the twenty four health is is the new implicit stat. There we go. Now imagine a new crafting mat transferring affixes to a base. Yeah, yeah. I'd really like so the there's no real way to affect base types in the game right now, um, and personally, so this is this is just a what Mike wants, not what's gonna happen, because <laughs> those rarely line up. Uh, but, but, but personally, I'd really like to see um, a dungeon reward that lets you like reforge an item's base type or something like that. You know, like, step on a butterfly and that ring's passed and see what happens. Just change to a slightly different color ring. <laughs> Alright, well. That'll about do us for today. Thanks for coming by, everybody. I had a ton of fun. I hope you did, too. Um, I'll be back same time, same place next week. Uh, we'll be hanging out playing some more epoch answering some more questions if i didn't answer your question um if i just missed it or uh you're watching this on, re on youtube or something you don't have a chance to ask live please head on over to our discord and uh got an ask the devs channel feel free to ask the questions there be happy to answer them it's also ask community's channel they got tons of great people answering questions all the time uh that's about all i've got for you yeah Everyone's hope everyone had everyone who likes to eat turkey and celebrates Turkey Day. Hope you had a great Turkey Day yesterday. Uh, let's go say hi to this person. They look cool. Yeah, this is actually one of the other builds I was considering playing for this. All right. Uh, yeah. Until next time. I hope you have a wonderful time. Drink lots of water. <laughs>